Google Kickstart Round C 2020. Third question is perfect summary. So here we are given an array of positive integer numbers and we have to find out number of subarrays which have perfect square as a total number of each element. So this is the sample input. Let's start coding. First we have test cases input T. Now we have integer and that is length of array and for loop for every test cases. Let's say we get uh, input of n that is the length of our array and uh, for then we have an array so we get input through a for loop and we input uh, array j terminal so this is how we get our input now the solution is simple we use two for loops so let's say for integer j equal to 0 j is less than n j plus plus we have another nested for loop that for int uh, let's say k equal to 0 we should start with k equal to j and uh, k is less than k plus plus and this is how we find out the sum of s so let's say we have an integer x to find out the sum of the sum of s so x is equal to x plus rh kth element let's say because we are like uh, finding the sum of every sum of s so Next thing is we need a function to check if it is a perfect square or not. So let's say we have a function answer. We take input as a x. So we have to define our function first. So here uh, it's an integer type of function that return 1 or 0. So let's say int answer and the condition is uh, like int x. So here it is simple we first have a, a long double let's say y that is equal to the square root of the x that is the sum of the sub array we find out its square root and then we check if the square root y minus the floor of y that is means the minimum integer value of y is equal equal to zero means it is a perfect square root then only it is possible so if this is true then we return uh, let's say we have a result or we have to return the value so let's say we return 1 if it is true and uh, here we store in our variable for result so result equal to result plus the return value from our function and uh, else if it is wrong then we return zero so if the sum of the perfect subarray is square root then but if it is perfect square then we return one otherwise zero and define our result variable here and for every test case result equal to zero in the beginning and uh, we have to print out the result here the c out result and line and uh, we have to write this case yes, i plus 1 and the kickstart format here and let's try for the sample input and uh, we get the wrong result because yeah we, we made a small mistake here when we take like x is uh, every time we store the sum of the sub array we have to change it to zero for every next sub array so here in our two for loops for every new sub array x should be zero in the beginning let's try again and we get the correct answer so let's copy our code and paste here language c plus plus and submit our code so it 
it is running and uh, we get our first test case correct but we have a time limit error in our large input it means our solution is correct but it is not efficient enough to pass the second test case 